Hi everyone, my name's Jan and I'm here with my dog Pete today because the book I chose is about a dog and I knew he'd love to hear it. I hope you do too. Here I am and here's our book for the day. This book just ate my dog by Richard Byrne. Bella was taking her dog for a stroll across the page when something very odd happened. Can you see what is happening that seems odd? Bella's dog disappeared. Oh, Bella looks concerned. Hello, Bella. What's up? said Ben. This book just ate my dog. Ben decided to investigate. Hmm, Bella looks a little concerned. But Ben disappeared too. Suddenly, help zoomed in. It says dog rescue, so they're going to help Bella, aren't they? Then vanished. There goes the dog rescue right into the book. Things were getting ridiculous. Here comes the police and the fire department, but they're all going into the book. Now Bella's getting mad. I'll just have to sort this out myself, thought Bella. But, burp. Looks like the book got Bella too. Some time later, a note appeared. The note says, Dear reader, it would be lovely if you could kindly help us. Please turn this book on its side and shake. Bella. Okay, guess we better do it. Turn it on its side and shake. What's it say? Oh, and shake and shake and shake. Hmm. Oh, there's Ben, there's the fire truck, and the police truck. And one last little wiggle, all right, wiggle. And everybody reappeared. There's Bella's dog, there's Bella. And things got back to normal. Well, almost. And the last page says, Dear reader, please tell this book to promise not to be so naughty next time you read it. Thank you, Bella. Thank you all for joining me. I hope maybe when you see this in the library or at school, you'll pick it up and you can read it again. Uh, because it does say on the back, wanted, nice reader to show this naughty book who's boss. Please help. Thanks all for listening. I had a wonderful time and Pete is still asleep, so I'll, I'll let him take his nap now.